only finding Davis. There's Tommy Gibb. Davis. And Gibb, beautiful running by Gibb. Harris. Breaking on the left now. Finding Mulhall. And here's a chance for Suggett. And it's a goal! What a goal by Colin Suggett! Oh my goodness me! Ten years on, the scoreline remained the same, only the faces had changed. Ken Knighton was in charge at Roker, while Newcastle, now managed by Bill McGarry, were lying sixth in the old second division. It took Sunderland by surprise, not to mention the commentator, by one of McGarry's more inspired signings. Clark, rather, going get much too hard on Walker. Doherty making ground on the right. Here's Doherty. Oh, it's a goal! Greenwood. Doherty giving the ground. In 1980, a rare derby result at Roker. The game was goalless until the smallest man on the field scored as Sunderland marched towards the first division. Locked again, Whitworth. Sunderland that breaks the deadlock. A decade on and drama reached its peak in the second division playoff semi-final. Mark Stimson and Marco Gabbiadini crashed in the area. Sunderland got a penalty. Harder than the penalty king. Here goes Hardiman. And Burridge has saved it. And Burridge pulls off the save. Almost 12 months ago, Roker staged its most recent derby, and again it was a point of peace. Peter Davenport claimed Sunderland's first half goal despite Matty Appleby's attempted clearance. But United levelled in the second half when Liam O'Brien's masterful chip was too good for Tony Norman. The times have definitely changed since then.